Well, it was on TikTok because that's where she shared the video to originally. And what it was is we had just switched over in, I think it was uh, Oklahoma. And I had just started about, driving about 15 minutes before that. And I was, in, you know, I was driving down the road and I seen this ice come up off this trailer and not thinking about it, you know what I mean? And I knew I was coming up on the trailer that was going to be in front of me. I could see we were gaining up, gaining up, on, gaining up on them. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You wanted to be in the game, right? Now you're in the game. Finally, finally, Derek is in the <laughs> building. <laughs> man, a lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth, man. You you must uh you you team drive with 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 your significant other, right? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, y'all. I, I listen, listen. I I appreciate the the time that you're giving me right now because I I know both of y'all be busy running that truck, man. That that y'all need to get it in, and when y'all get out get out of the truck, y'all definitely want to get some rest in. So I appreciate you uh, giving me the opportunity, man. Yep, yeah, busy, 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 and it's like we just keep the truck rolling. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, man. Well, go ahead and uh, introduce us, introduce yourself and, uh, you know, give us a little background about yourself and how, you know, and what you used to do before you got into trucking. Uh, Derek Spellman got into trucking back in 2008. I used to be a warehouse worker and then I was a dock worker for Old Dominion. And then um, when I was working for Old Dominion, I wanted to go driving, so they put me through their school. And that's how I got into trucking. Okay, okay. So Old Dominion. How now I I know like Old Dominion is like one of those top uh top SLI companies that drivers want to get into. Also is one of those companies that you have to have your your doubles and triples as well. Uh but you was a dock worker there before you got into the truck. It is it's the yeah. same cri it's the same criteria uh for getting in into the company to drive their trucks. It's the same criteria, you know, stingless criteria to get in to work on the dock. No, you can get in on the dock. And you can actually and they will actually put you through their school. And the only thing is you have to sign a contract saying that you'll stay with them for at least a year. They pay you while you're going through their school. They pay you while you're going through your training. And if you quit or you get fired before a year, you agree to pay them back X amount of dollars. Okay. But now, as long as you're not fired or you don't quit, then they they don't charge you for nothing. I got laid off in 2009 because the trucking industry went down back when we had the, re the recession back then. And they, had, they said that I didn't have to repay nothing because they were laying me off at the time. They said, when you come, they said, we're going to bring you back. When the economy comes back, we're going to bring you back. Okay. Okay. So wait, this is something new because I never knew that old dominion has, you know, has a, has a sponsor school, but, but wait, wait, I, I might be leading into that too much. Is that just for company employees or is that for everybody that's, that's looking for, you know, a trucking job that Old Dominion would send you to school. Yeah, I'm not sure because I was on the dock back then. That was back in 2009, and they might have changed by now. But I know back in 2008, when I went to their school, it was in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. That terminal there is where they train you at. And all thing I had to put was a hundred job. Um, what was it? Twenty five? No, hundred hours in New York on my time, not getting paid for it driving around, hooking up the trailers, pulling around the yard, back in the spots, teaching myself. And if I finished that 100 hours in the yard, then they signed off every time I was in the yard. And once I completed that 100 hours, then they were good. They went ahead and put me through their school. Okay. And then after that, you uh, pretty much was uh, driving their trucks. Are you – well, you said that was back in 2009 – are you still driving? 2008. Or 2008, I'm sorry. Are you still driving for Old Dominion now, or you drive for a different company? No, no, I drive for a totally different company. 
Oh, okay, okay. So Old Dominion, shout out to them. They gave you, you you started off with them on the dots. They gave you the opportunity to get your license. You took it. You got your license. How long you drove for them before you decided to, you know, move to the next level? Well, after you go through the school and you get your license and they send you on the road, you do 240 hours with the trainer on the road and you have to be driving. It's not just being in the truck because if you all hazmat with your with your permit, you're not allowed to drive when you have hazmat until you go out on your own. The larger one with that trainer, if you go from like Pennsylvania to like Maine and you have hazmat, he's got to drive. You don't get credit for those hours. You do get paid, but they don't give you credit for your towards your 240 hours. You have to be 240 hours in the driver's seat before they let you go out on their own. On your own. Now you also said that you had to you had to drive for them for what about a year? So I'm I'm assuming you you obligated that year before you left. Yes, yeah, everybody. I was there from my. Uh, I started with them in 2006, and I left there in 2012. So I did finish. I finished well over my year. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, 2006, 2012, that's, yeah, you stayed with them for about a good six years. Uh, they was, I'm assuming they was, like, you know, treating you right, and you, you enjoy driving for them, why, why leave? Because, again, like I said, Old Dominion is one of the, one of the echelon companies that these drivers trying to get to. Yeah, but it's it's they'll fire you for anything. And I lived in Pennsylvania at the time, which I don't live there no more. And I it was either ten ten miles from my house to the terminal, or ten miles from the hotel from the hotel to the terminal. And I chose to go home and park my my tractor at my landlord's U-Haul lot, where it was secure. Well, then they said I I chose to take company property home, so they fired me for it. And then when I went and fought, oh, um, when I went and fought the unemployment, the terminal manager and the other terminal manager went there and lied on me. They went the terminal manager that was there. He had the front line hall manager and the assistant terminal hall manager go to my unemployment and lie on me, and then so they didn't have to pay, pay uh, my unemployment. Man, sorry to hear that, man. Uh, you you figure, you know. <laughs> You 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 figured that even some of the most veteran workers at these companies they they it, it still shows that some of these companies not just trucking I'm I'm not just saying trucking but companies period that just don't show no type of love for for their employees man I mean they they talk they talk good game but they show a different a different side of themselves like I mean if you've been like if there's no loyalty, and uh, and I don't understand why a lot of people give loyalty to companies anyway. Because there's none, there's no loyalty in return, man. Nope. Because when I started there, the terminal manager that was originally there, he was cool. He was real cool. And then he wasn't there all the time. They finally he was doing went out doing things when he was supposed to be at work. So they wanted to fire him, and they brought this other terminal manager. And it was all right when he first came. And then he tried to get stricter and stricter. Wow, this is making it more and more hard for you guys. How much uh how much you was averaging a week when you was with them for the for the six years? After after taxes, I was averaging them like seventeen hundred a week. Okay, dang, dang. That, I, I as, a, as, a as a company driver as a company driver, right? Yes. That was after taxes and everything because I was actually a uh, working line haul. And back then in 2008, I was topped out at like 54 and a half, 54 and a half cent a mile. Okay, okay. And uh, went from line haul, I went from line haul and went over to, uh, to uh, local. And you can only work like up to like 60 hours a week. And with Old Dominion, there's some type of loophole. loophole and their law where their home office is at, that they don't have to pay you overtime until after 60 hours. Mm. They'll let you work up to that 60 and then they cut you off. Okay, okay, that's what's up. 
All right, so uh, let's let's uh, fast forward, man. Um, I, I I caught you uh, on a video. I'm not sure if it was a TikTok video or a Facebook video, but of course it it, it was shared because uh, because because of what happened. Uh, take us take us back if you can remember. You driving you and your uh, you and your wife driving down the road. And then all of a sudden, yeah. the unthinkable happened. What happened? Well, it was on TikTok, because that's where she shared the video to originally. And what it was is we had just switched over in, I think it was uh, Oklahoma. And I had just started about driving about 15 minutes before that. And I was, in, you know, I was driving down the road, and I seen this ice come up off this trailer, and I'm thinking about it, you know what I mean? And I knew I was coming up on the trailer that was going to be in front of me. I could see we were gaining up, gaining up, on, gaining up on them. So I went from the right lane to the left lane after that truck came past me. And just as I got in the left lane, I was cruising. And right at the last minute, I seen that ice just gliding through the air. And the last minute, luckily I had my sunglasses on because she doesn't wear hers. And at the last minute, it just veered over and hit the windshield. And the windshield was gone. Wow. That was, uh, and I'm. I remember my face. Glass was all over me and actually cut me in a couple places. Wow. That was, that was crazy. Crazy scary, man. Because you, you, you know, you held it. I got to give it to you, bro. I, I got to give it to you, man. You, <laughs> you, you held it together even after the you know even after the 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 ice shattered the glass and everything you you held it together to even safely get across the way and pull over to get yourself to get your composure back your wife was in the passenger seat like no she was in no she was in actually in the, she was in the bed huh she was in the bed sleeping. Oh, she, she was, was in the bed sleeping. Oh, she was in the bed. Okay. So uh, how, how how did she? <laughs> what what was her? What, what what happened to her when she when when it just? What I mean? <laughs> what was she her? She never heard it. She never heard it. And what? It was a loud boosh. And I thought she would have heard it because when he and when he hit it was loud. And I called back to her, and, she, and then I pulled her over, and I was like, she woke up, and she's like, what happened? And I said, a piece of ice. I said, it just smacked the windshield. It wasn't like a used piece, either. It was just big enough, and hit that windshield just right. And when it hit it, I said, oh, and I had ice all over me. I had a chunk of ice in my, la in my lap, and I mean, that windshield was gone. Wow. Never, never dreamed it was going to hit the that windshield like it did. Wow. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, of course, the the truck... Uh, the initial truck where the ice came from, w were you guys able to get any information uh, from that truck or, no, or he no? Was going, no, he was going. He was going the other way. Okay, so he. So I guess the other person that so you know where the we were on, we were on forty. We were on forty going east. He was on forty going west. And that light, he slipped it up off that trailer and came across that grass medium. Right in my travel. Right, right into the right into the windshield. Right windshield. Wow. Yep. So you uh, again, you was able to able to get it over, get in a safe spot. Um, of course, you had to call a tow truck company. Now, let me ask you this: Was the the truck you was driving was that your truck or was that a company truck? No, it was actually a rental truck. Oh, it was a rental. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Was now after that. So we got stuff paying. We got well after that happened. My I talked to my boss. And he told me to rip the windshield back. I ripped the windshield back and I drove it eight miles down the uh, breakdown lane of forty just to get it off the highway. Right. And uh, we put some we put some cardboard over it to make it, you know last throughout the night. And then the next day they had to come tow it ninety miles. It was about no, about ninety miles, I'd say, to a safe light auto shop, and we had to pay for the tow and the windshield was like eighteen hundred dollars. Wow! No way! No wait! 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 Yeah. You you yep. had to pay for we it. We had to pay. We had to pay for it. Ooh. Yep. 
I said, I told my boss, I said that he said that was Ryder. I said that's a I said that's a bunch of you know, I said that's a bunch of bull BS. Was you was you able to get your was you able to get reimbursed? No. What? I told him I said that should be discovered by the insurance. Right. Yeah. He so, told me he told me no, we had to pay for it. So Derek, wait now a minute. Now we have what? our own truck. Wait, yeah. wait. Let me let now me make sure, let let me make sure I understand this. So the truck, the 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 rider truck that you was driving, it it was of course a rental, but was that a rental through mm-hmm. your company, or was that a rental through no, a, you? A, they had a, they had they had a lease through Ryder, and we were paying the bill. So Ryder, well, well, Ryder well, actually. Well, wait, wait, rewind Ryder that. Ryder actually had the word. Go ahead. No, I I was about to say rewind that back for me because your company leased the truck through Ryder, but you had to pay for the lease. Yeah, we were paying. We chose to pay for the lease. Oh, oh, oh but okay. Ryder, 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 Ryder is crazy because we had a blowout on one of our tires one day. And we couldn't make it. It was a theater, and we couldn't we couldn't go anywhere. And if you can go to a rider shop, they don't charge you. But if they have to send like someone out there to do that tire, for one tire they charge for the tire and the uh, road call. Rider sent us a bill for nine hundred bucks for one tire. They sent the bill directly to you or to the company, and then the company took it out of your cell. My company and my boss. My company and my. Yes, my company. They sent it to my boss, and then my boss sent me the receipt. Wow! So I got told him I said I wanted to do, I wanted to do the truck. So we finally got out of the rider. We finally got away from the rider. Now we have our own truck. We don't have, you know, it's we don't have it to a lease company or rock. Now this truck, this truck, we're buying it. It's flat out, we're buying it flat out outright. But still, eight. What you say? All all together was like eighteen hundred dollars that came. That 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 the comp- yeah, they sent it to the company and Ryder then the company there. came get, the company took it out of you guys selling it, right? Yeah, but you don't. Know, yeah, he see my one thing about my boss though, he he won't take the money on the phone. He'll get, he'll just take like so much out of your check each week, so he's not hitting you hard. Yeah, that that is a pretty hard hit. Yeah, but he only he took it like out of like four payments. Oh, okay, so okay. I, him, I said that's cool. All right, that's woo. But I, you know what, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're here to tell the story. Even though you know we, we went back and forth, back and forth. You know, to, to, to get you on here to tell the story. But man, even, even the, even afterwards, the story just continues. Like wow, <laughs> you know, you would think yeah, the insurance believe, would take care of that. Think- I even said something to my boss. I was like, you know, I said that I said there was no way I could drive that, and we were stuck like about ninety miles from Oklahoma City, and Safe Light Auto, auto Glass would not come out there and put a replacement windshield. They said it was too far out. Wow! The rider called the tow truck. The other one's called it, so I figured they should have to pay for it. Wow, that's but crazy. So are you are you still are well? The truck that you got now is is your truck and everything. So are you? Are you guys still signed on with the same guy, or y'all y'all with a different company? No, we're still with the same guy. Oh, still with the guy. Oh, that's that's what's up, man. <laughs> that's what's up. You all, but you know, I tell people they should when they get comfortable with a company, they should stay with them, especially if they doing good by them. Yeah, we we've been going real good. I mean, that's why you know he's been trying to keep us. He didn't want to lose such a amount. He said, but basically. We're basically one of his best drivers. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, Derek, what's uh, now? This is now the initial video. Is it still up on your TikTok? Um, I think it's still up on her TikTok. Yes, it's still up on hers. Okay. What's uh? How how would how would people be able if they want to see the video? How, how would they be able to see it? What's your t- uh your wife's TikTok? It's. Mel N D Rod is M E L N D R I D E. Thank you. Cream? 
No, thank you. I take it black. Like my man. That's what I got. M E L N as in Nancy, D as in dog, ride. R I D E. Yeah, it's like, like Mel and D ride. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, there it is. And it got woo hoo hoo hoo. Eight million <laughs> views, man. Congratulations for going yeah. to. Well, yeah, I mean, it's an unfortunate situation, but. Man, congratulations for going viral on that one, bro. That's crazy, yeah, man. Yeah, people were making comments. Someone said I shouldn't have been in the left lane when one of the comments. I was like, well, I said, if you look at the video close enough, you could see I was coming up on the truck that was in the right lane. You know, That's why I got over because it wasn't up on him. You, you know, you're going to get you, – you, <laughs> you, you're going to always get crazy comments like that. I mean, you know, when – I, I knew when I looked at the video, I, I knew that you had it, something forced you over in the left lane anyway. So they, they don't see yeah, that. Have you watched the video? Yeah, I watched yeah, the video. Yeah, you watched the video. And look at it. You can see where, where we were coming up on the guy in the right lane. That's why I got over him. Because if I would have got up, I would have waited and thought of, they would have been probably a car behind me. Then I went ahead to slow down. So I went and let this one guy pass and left. And that's when I chose to get over Exactly, exactly. And I'm I'm sure you wasn't going to ride the left lane anyway. I just got finished talking to a, had a conversation with a nice female from TikTok, TikTok by the way. Uh she was telling she was telling the story about that she got in the left lane to get around uh to get around the truck. And um right. she tried to she tried to get back over into the right lane but Unfortunately, she was obstructed from getting over into the right lane, and a and and a and a state trooper from Kansas pulled her over, and gave her a ticket for riding in the left lane. And I was like, "Wow!" I said, "They didn't see that you was trying to get back in the right lane, you know." And it's it's funny. It's yeah. funny. Uh, you know, I mean, I understand. It's like, you know, for us veteran drivers, we we pretty much know about that left lane. But for the newer drivers, yeah, because, they they don't know, they they don't know much about the left lane because there ain't no signs out there that actually tells you not to ride the left lane. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, but Oklahoma, Oklahoma's got the signs posted. Yeah, they tell you like, if you've gotten the left lane, they'll be they'll charge you with impeding traffic. Mm. It says do not impede the left lane. Yeah, I yeah I noticed those like I, I, I noticed those over. signs. I got pulled over. I got pulled over in Arkansas when I got to the left lane after I went to go around someone because they couldn't go to the right or not. So I just went around and right after I got another left lane, I was passing Arkansas pulled me over and gave me a citation. But he said I'm only getting your one. He said next time it'll be a ticket. I said okay. <laughs> like, no, no, we're good. We're good. Yeah, I got it. I try to watch. I try to watch when I'm in Arkansas now because of that. Well, Arkansas is like one of the worst because you can't even. They tell you you can't even park on the ramps or nothing in Arkansas. I was like, you might have a full thing. You might have a full, full at least six hours to get through Arkansas. You know, to make sure you get through Arkansas, it only takes about four. But you get caught in traffic or whatever. You know what I mean? So the bank has to the bank. They will give you a ticket. So. Is, is your wife? Uh, do your wife have have her CDLs too, or is or or is she just uh, she? I'm sorry. No, we both have our CDLs. We oh. both have our CDLs. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Who who was the first out of out of both of y'all to get uh to get your commercial license? Me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right, Derek, man. Well, bro, I, I I appreciate you coming on to the Lockout Men podcast show, man. Thank you very much for your time. No problem, buddy. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G, yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to